what I have here is a Valeo, or Valeo um, car alternator. It's 125 ampere alternator, and apparently these are pretty similar. All of these here, I have already taken this apart one once, and uh, yeah, basically you just open a couple of screws here, and this come this comes off. Oh, actually, it's kind of crusty, so I'm going to do these gloves. gloves. And then this is the this is the bridge uh, full bridge rectifier, uh, which also handles the uh, correct voltage regulation. Well, well, it's probably, I think it's called just voltage regulator. The brushes are here. And they are pushing against these uh, slider something something. I don't know what's that called in English. But basically, they are picking up the electricity from here and here. And yeah, it's an alternating current, and then you're going to get uh, direct current out. So plus 14 or a 15 out of here and zero on the cover. And this is attached with three. Three bolts. And now it just comes off like that. Oh yeah, there's actually kind of a cover. So which camera I'm going to use? This one. So this slides on top of these to uh, protect this this piece from all the crap. But to change these, these are the process. Let's try to change these. And replace. I have new process here hmm, somewhere. Here we go. New process here. And these are the old ones. First. This is some solder paste to build with the flow. Because so I figured that this. Uh, Solder I picked. I'm not sure if it has flux in it. I think all of them are supposed to have some flux in it nowadays, but I don't see any mention of it in, in the packaging, so probably not. This is actually the uh, lead lead kind of solder. This was actually a recommendation from my friend who does electronics. That uh, in a place where I'm going to get a lot of vibration, like exactly here better to use uh, lead lead solder because it can handle the vibration better. Let's see if it's hot yet. It feels like it's hot. I picked this really big uh, tip. There were several kinds of tips which came with this. I picked this because I figured that in this application we actually have quite a bit of mass which we need to manipulate. So it's probably better to have a bigger chip. Let's go to snip one of these. seem very efficient. I mean it's only like half used. Well, let's see how about the other. There is actually something, some kind of funnel shaped things that are... Oh hey, here we go. We have a hole. No worries. Yeah. 
hours. I'm going to melt a bit more of that stuff. Or on that side. Come on now. Come on now. You know what? I'm going to cool down the iron and change the tip. This just. Yeah, this is not good for the job. Okay, we want to get rid of that tab. Is this hot yet? Nope. Not, nope, nope. It's not hot yet. Hmm, that's really crappy. Um, when the when the soldering iron is in its cradle, it's actually touching this coil here, which means that. It's actually dissipating heat into that coil, which means that it's not actually heating up. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but yeah, that's not really what I wanted to do. Anyway, we were at wanting to remove this other tab too. Really not. Just really so little, so little. Let's see. Let's add some solder to see what the fuck is going on. Oh yeah, there we go. That's better. I think that is actually all we need. Let's do the same thing for this other side too. Really trying to get to my face. Yeah, then I think we got it. Yeah, I think that's sufficiently good. Now, how on earth are we going to thread these really flexi wires through the holes there? Oh, well, that was actually surprisingly easy. Oh yeah, I had this one one gadget that I also just bought. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that looks good. Good, good. Okay, that's kind of fixed there. Now, let's see, I have never used this before, so... Apologies, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Um, yeah, okay. Ha! Huh? Stay the hell there. Okay, now how I'm going to do this without... Huh. Eh, hey, look at that. That's, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. 
Okay. Now, do I need that flux? I don't know. I have no idea how to apply it. Let's just take some on this wire and try. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look good at all. More flux. More flux, please. Oh yeah, I actually have smoke alarms here. I hope I'm not triggering them. Okay, is that good enough? Fuck no. I guess, I think. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Well, it doesn't really matter, as long as they, both of them are out. Let's try this. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm a genius. Then we'll turn this around again. Actually it would be more useful if I have it can I um, if I can have it this way. Yeah that's much better. Yeah, I have a much better view now. Now, what should I use to apply that flux? Just going to scrape some like that. And let's try. Well, that actually looks much better than the other. What is the most important part is that do they both look acceptable? Yeah, that's complete joint. Yep, good enough. I think it will contact at the very end and well here and here. Yeah in the middle there's something which I don't care about. They are kinda that one is kind of blackened, blackened, and they are both kinda scuffed. But I'm not sure if that's on purpose. If you, if you're supposed to have that kind of scuff marks or not I don't see why would you because it's uh, basically it will eat away the brush faster so what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to take first I'm going to take P180 sandpaper and yeah, give that a whirl, and then P six hundred. But well, let's see how difficult this is. If this is very difficult, I'm just going to pause and will continue after my failures with this. Okay. Yeah, and we're going to remove that seal for now. Well, it's still true. Um, white. Hmm. I 
think it's getting a bit shinier already. Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah, this is not hot at all. But anyway, I'm going to do this for a while. Uh, while I was polishing this, um, these slip rings, <laughs> I realized we have a slight problem. They are actually quite quite smooth now, and I only use that uh, coarser paper, the 180. I think it, it's okay. But I realized there's these two... Uh, anything to point with, <laughs> without obscuring the lights. Uh, Look at this and this. I'm not sure if that uh, was left from the uh, paper, I mean the sandpaper, or is that actually uh, copper oxide. But either way, there's a pit here, in the same position on both slip rings. Hmm, I think that's a problem, which we are going to ignore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I don't have new slip rings and I only have one day more and I, I, I'm in Finland, I work a day and after work I only have like a couple of hours of like four hours of daylight before it gets dark so uh, I need to <laughs> I need to get to installing this so we are just going to ignore that problem but let's just say that I pointed that out now so when we are going to open this again in a week I can say to myself, I told you so. So basically, we now have our new process here. Yeah, they are moving just fine. Let's see, I think it kind of goes on like this, right? How am, how am I going to do this? Oh, come on now. You go there and you go there and now click. Click, damn it. So I know two of these go on the cover and three of those go on this, so it's probably these three. I think that's plenty tight. Oh, god damn it. This seal was behind that whole thing. <clears throat> now I'm not sure if I can remove this now that the brushes are <laughs> engaged. That's weird. Just go there like that. I mean... Oh okay. <laughs> For some reason I thought that this white part is rotating too. Okay. Let's see. Um, so this goes here and that comes there and yeah maybe that engages that and yeah that just keeps all the dust out. I tried to <laughs> clean this earlier but I was I think I was just cleaning so many other parts at the same time so I just got up wasn't paying attention. Yeah it's much better now. So let's see if it just slips on those rails it has. Here and that's a good there. Damn! Just clicks in the place. That's awesome. Okay, we are pretty much done. Just back cover. Back on. And yeah, this was. If that means anything to anyone. I actually just watch it from another. YouTuber 
who also had a funny accent that this Valeo alternators have been manufactured in very same way for the last 30 years so whichever model you have it should be pretty much the same procedure Okay, do I have any extra parts or anything? Nope, we're done.